Instead of starting in the overworld and going to the end, I'm going to be starting in the end and going back to the overworld. I made a list of things I gotta do to get back, with the first thing being to give myself the materials to make end crystals. Wait! You can't do that! That's cheating! True, but not really. It'll make sense later. So I'll put these away, I'm gonna grab my stuff out, and then I'm gonna grab more wood. Cause I do need some blocks, as you know. The funny thing is that I tried to make this video yesterday and it failed miserably cause I had no idea what I was doing. But thankfully, I did some research before doing it this time, so hopefully we can actually escape. Now, I'm gonna go and get stone. Okay, this is the stone that we want. In stone, you cannot make into useful stuff. You have to use this stone specifically. I'm gonna go get some more food and then we're gonna head off and we're gonna try and get some thalassium, which is basically just iron, but a little bit worse. I'm just gonna need to get as many bears as I can because that's like the, oh my goodness, I'm going to get killed by you guys. Can you guys chill out? Oh, thalassium? Right now, I just need thalassium, but if I can, I need to get ender shards as well so that we can make diamond in the future. I want to get so much wood that my axe will literally have a heart attack. Is there any places with jello? I would like some jello. Okay, I'm gonna make it over here. Normally I would speed bridge, but I don't trust myself with that, so. So, this is kind of a conundrum. Should I go that way? Oh, no. Oh, I've screwed myself over. No, 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 no. Okay, see? I'm okay. I'm okay. Listen, you cannot touch me. It's fine. I unfortunately had it in that man's life. Oh, also, I don't know if I explained it or not, but basically we just need to get back to the overworld because, you know, this obviously is not- What is that biome? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, we have way more than enough berries. Let's see, maybe there's a higher chance of finding thalassium. Okay, whatever, I'm getting distracted. Ooh, more! I'm just gonna have to deal with this. I have way too much food. <laughs> okay, if I'm lucky, we can find fish in here. I watched tutorials and stuff like that. Okay, there's no fish. I've been lied to. Should I go over there? Wait. Okay, you see those things over there? Those crystals, we need to get those. These crystals are very important. Okay, I have plenty. I don't want to waste any more stuff, and I'm just going to head out of here. Hello, Thalassium. <sighs> I think these people just want to kill me. Oh, yeah. This is the other thing that we need. Yes, Thalassium. My favorite person. I mean, not person, but yes. More thalassium. I have to give my eyes a break. And then, you know, we may think we should probably make tools, but we simply can't. It's not how it works, so. Let's test out our new tool. Now that works perfectly. I guess I should grab more wood because I'm kind of running out. Is that enough? I don't know if it's enough. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna head off again. So this is all the gear that we have. And that is still pretty good, so. We're only 45 minutes in, guys. We're doing good. Look at how much faster this mines. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think we have enough blocks. So the ender shards don't seem that useful, and they definitely are not. I just need them to make titanium or something. Oh, I have too much thalassium now. Goodbye to that wooden axe. Thalassium is way more important than you. You know, you can never have too much thalassium, but at the same time, I kind of need more ender shards. I have two stacks of thalassium. I got way too much. I need a stack of ender shards. <gasps> Wait, that's the first fish I've ever seen in this game. Come here. Thank you. Oh, never that happens. It's... <laughs> It's not very good, but hey, at least I have the lassium to cheer me up. I have a little bit more room for the lassium, so I'm just gonna keep collecting it. You know, I'm pretty much treating this like it's hardcore. Well, I'm trying to treat this like it's hardcore because if I die, there's like 0% chance I get my items back in time. Imagine if I find an elytra in this. That would be kind of crazy. Oh, wait, this is good. I need some of this. I just need sand so I can make glass, and the glass I can make ender crystals. Okay, I think I might need to explain why I gave myself the eye of ender and gas tears, and it's because normally you get those by going into the nether and getting blaze rods, or by just cutting gas, right? But you can't really do that in the end, because I don't think there's any gasts or blazes, so I don't really have much of a choice. Wait. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna collect it because I don't know what it is, but... That's still kind of cool. Oh, it's cactus. Okay, I need a station, like a smelting station, as fast as possible. Okay, what do you guys think about my floor? <laughs> More end stone furnaces. All of the inner dust. Should I do it? I don't care. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we have terminite. Can't believe it. We're already basically at diamond in the end dimension. We just have to do a few more things and we, we, we're literally about to escape. Okay, so the other thing I need is this. It was to make enough.
That's not enough. I need a stack of sand. Okay, I gotta get more sand. Let's go do that. Dude, this termite smelter takes forever. I need more bark. Oh, two more blocks left. Deforestation. Okay, I just realized that I wasn't supposed to make eight end crystals. I was supposed to only have like six. I'm supposed to have two extra. So I need two ender pearls. So in order to accomplish this goal, I'm gonna make a little thing. And basically, I'm just gonna stare at Enderman. I need ender pearls. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, no ender pearls. You give me another ender pearl, I won't have to torture the rest of your species. Thank you. Man, I need to figure out how to get two obsidian. I need two obsidian? Okay. I'm basic- Oh, oh hey Enderman. After getting basically full diamond, I had one main goal, which is to finally leave the end. It actually seems relatively simple, but there is one small issue. To get back to the overworld, you have to find an intact eternal portal and place eternal crystals on each of the pedestals. Now, to make the eternal crystals, you have to put an ender pedestal in a circle of normal pedestals like this and put an end crystal on the ender pedestal while also having ender shards and aurora crystals on the outside. I'm glad they made this very simple to understand. So this is actually all okay, but the hard part is the centerpiece because because it has obsidian. The funny thing about obsidian is that there's only a few ways to get it without having to fight the dragon, which I definitely was not ready to do. So the best option I thought of was to walk in one direction and hope to find the biome that had obsidian in it. End city. This is actually really good. I've never actually found an end city in Minecraft, like legitimately. Ew, what is that? Okay, well they're angry. So can you block them with like a shield? Oh my goodness, guys, chill out. Oh, I don't want to die. <laughs> they sound so weird. Oh my goodness. This is such a horrible thing to be at right now. Okay, I don't need to waste my time here because I just need to go to this ship. I googled it because I don't play Minecraft that much to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I'll make a little platform right here just in case, like, what if a shulker hits me? But this right here, that is good stuff. Okay, we're gonna go over here. This is kind of crazy just how fast I can go. So now that I had the elytra, I could completely focus on just trying to get to the biome. But I was a little bit too focused because whenever I look back at the footage, I realized that there's obsidian on the end ship. And I was just too oblivious to even notice that there is some right there. And uh, if I would have noticed that, it would have saved me a whopping two and a half hours of exploring. So... Um, good job. Anyways, after a bit more walking and bridging and walking and bridging and flying for a long time, this happened. Um, uh, what was I gonna do? I just lost all my stuff and spawned thousands of blocks away from- Oh. Oh, guys, this is totally legit. Just hold on, wait, wait one second. I was being honest, there's no way I was gonna find this biome in like three hours, and so I kind of did want to die. It was a little bit intentional that I missed it, but you know what? It's okay. I have basically the same stuff, so all I needed was this. So I need to make this an infusion pedestal, and then what we do from here is we grab our inner shards and a rower, a rower, a rower, and then we put it here. Oh, it, it worked. Okay, now we need to find a ruined portal, so that's gonna, probably gonna take another hour to find, but it's okay. <gasps> Wait, no way. In this biome, I was so I was just about to leave too. Okay, let's land this and we'll be fine. Oh my goodness, what did I just say? Here's one. Okay. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. After five hours of exploring. Here we go. Five hours right here. <laughs> Finally, five hours. Grass. Wow. That's, it's been a while. Oh my goodness. It's weird seeing real animals again. 
It's been real fun. If I'm being honest, I'm more excited that I get to sleep now. Well, if you guys made it all the way through, do not forget to watch my other videos and subscribe so we can get to 1K. Oh, man. No. Okay, well, uh, get ready for part two that's gonna come out in like...